U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo is signing off of his official government Twitter account in epic fashion. Uh, he has some spicy and delicious tweets. We're going to look at a couple of them, but I'm going to link his Twitter feed down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check it out on your own. I encourage you to do so and then drop a comment on this video and tell me what you think about Mike Pompeo, about this, this epic sign off and about uh, generally, his role as Secretary of State. Do you think he did a good job for Donald Trump? What do you think about uh, people being mad at him? And believe me, if you're not aware, especially after these tweets, who he has rankled. He has rankled some people by throwing a grenade into the swamp. <laughs> so let's take a look. So his first tweet, this is the pinned tweet on his account. It says, in 26 hours, you'll only be able to follow me at Mike Pompeo. Serving as your Secretary of State has been a privilege and an honor. I'm immensely proud of the achievements we've had in the past four years. So this is a rather typical sign-off. Like I said, it's his pinned tweet, but it's only the precursor to what would follow. And what follows is this. Boom. Wokeism. Multiculturalism. All the isms. They're not who America is. They distort our glorious founding and what this country is all about. Our enemies stoke these divisions because they know they make us weaker. And it's got a quote from him, and I love it because it's true. Censorship, wokeness, political correctness, it all points in one direction. Authoritarianism cloaked as moral righteousness. And this is, of course, what is going on every single day. This idea of concern trolling, this idea of Virtue signaling and more, Im more important and more nefarious than virtue signaling is the virtue check. The virtue check. Show me your virtue papers. Prove to me that you're worthy of speech in the first place. We've got a country right now that is hinged on a social media platform called Twitter run by basically a hobo named Jack Dorsey. And this guy fancies himself the arbiter of what speech is acceptable for everyone on the planet, but most importantly, for Americans. This guy doesn't know America from squat, and he's out here telling us exactly what we're supposed to think, what we're allowed to say. Mike Pompeo puts that idea on blast here, and I absolutely love it, because this is pervasive, and it's awful. And it's anti-American. He's right. We're not actually... Now, people misuse multiculturalism in all sorts of different ways. How Mike's using it here is very important. America is built, sure, with contributions from several different cultures. But Mike's hitting on a different idea. He's hitting on the idea that we are allowed to have an American culture, an American identity. And that identity is important. He's going to hit it in the next tweet. This identity, you're, it's okay to be American. It's fine. Every other country is allowed their cultural and uh, national identity, and we are too. That's what Mike is hitting at, and it's why he resonates so well with so many people. But here, I love this one. Susan and I will never forget our church, family, and friends back in Kansas, without whom none of this would have been possible. Thank you, Kansas. And this is... This is what I'm talking about with our own identity. You're allowed to have roots. You're allowed to have things that matter to you. You're allowed to remember where you came from. And that is an actual part of you. And it's part of the American culture, actually is. I know that we're transplants from Europe largely, and then of course from everywhere else after that. But that being said, we're always allowed to go back to our American roots. And for a lot of people, for the longest time, for the vast majority of people, it starts with faith and family and friends. And Mike is hitting on that hard. They'll never forget their church. These are the people. These are the people you're supposed to be able to go back to when the entire world turns its back on you. Or worse, they turn their hand upon you. You go back to your faith your family, and your friends. And it isn't about a specific religion or specific denomination. This isn't about that at all. It's about having your rooted network and remembering that you can go back. 
that you have people who have your back. And when you're in a position like Mike Pompeo, really when you're in any public position at all, but especially when you're the secretary of state of a nation, you're going to do things that piss a lot of people off. And it's really important to remember where you came from. And I love that Mike brings that up here and he hits, he hits it in with his wife who uh, you have to have that support. And those people who support you know you. Not the caricature that's pushed by a stupid mainstream media. Not, not from the woke crowd on Twitter trying to distort every word that you say. But the people who know you and know your heart. That's your American identity. That's what we have. That's what we get to keep. And that's what Mike's hitting here. Uh-oh. Oh, there's a spicy opinion. But why? Why is this a spicy opinion? The duty to secure America first never ends. America first. People are livid that Mike Pompeo, as Secretary of State, would suggest that America needs to be the priority for America and its government. We saw this with the stimulus, right? Why are people so mad about a $600 stimulus? They're not mad about that. They're mad about money going everywhere else and not helping people at home. They're mad about the fact that we're not allowed to say that America gets priority. Every other country is allowed to focus on themselves, but America isn't because for some reason we're different. I mean, we are different, but we're different because we are a people who have roots here, who have built something, and those roots are being chiseled away every single opportunity that these woke monsters get. They try to take away who we are, what America stands for, what has built it to be the success that it has been. <laughs> it's, it's like we're supposed to uh, like what America can do, but hate how America did it. And that's ridiculous. I love that Mike brings us back here and roots it. He's the Secretary of State. Literally securing America first is his job and people are mad at him for doing it. The final one. And this, this is where, ooh, this is where they really don't like him, especially in the media and in government. We moved past foreign policy elites, peddling the same old failed ideas on the left and the right. Not popular in the swamp, but it produced great results like the Abraham Accords. And of course, he has a bunch of pictures of him with foreign leaders and diplomats. And that says it all. Despite whatever people want to say about Donald Trump's administration, his foreign policy achievements in very tough parts of the world, like the Middle East, the Korean Peninsula, have been absolutely fantastic. They have produced great results. And it's hard for anyone to deny it. So instead of denying those results, they attack the people who made them happen. And they say that they're racist or they're, uh, you know, they're authority. I don't even know what other thing they say. They just, they just go on to this. But yet they're producing results in areas that we haven't been able to do it before. They say that they're naive, yet they're getting deals done. So uh, this is, of course, all stuff that Joe Biden wants to undo on day one. And that starts with forcing America back into the uh, Paris Climate Accord. Because remember, Joe Biden and the, up, the Democrat administration doesn't like the idea of America first. They don't actually like the idea of faith, family, tradition. They don't like it. What they want is America to be leading a global government. And forget that we are quintessentially and ultimately Americans, that we always have been, and that we're allowed to have an American identity. They don't want that. They care about the global play. What do you guys think? I don't know. I'm done ranting, I guess, but Mike Pompeo dropped some great tweets. Tell me what you think down in the description below. I would love to get your opinions as well. I think you can figure out what I think about it. Uh, adios, Mike Pompeo. We'll see what happens very soon. Peace. Peace.